Oh, that ignite might finish him off. Nope, it did not. Oh! <laughs> that flash, though! Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to yet another video. Today, we're going to be playing some Pike on the PBE. And thank you very much for clicking on this. Uh, despite the fact that you're probably inundated with multiple Pike videos that have been spammed across your subscription box. We're not doing like any particularly hype, oh this is broken, this is so overpowered. And in fact, the reason that my video is probably quite a bit later than it should have been tonight is because I was actually making a video talking about why I don't think Pike is going to be all that OP despite the fact that uh, YouTube videos are probably going to tell you otherwise. So. The main logic for this is behind the fact that his passive is kind of just like destroys the tankiness that he can really achieve. Um, I'm, I'm thinking, I've tried Pike a little bit before this video, uh, before this uh, this particular game, just trying him out. I feel like resolve runes are probably very much required on him, at least in the secondary tree. We're running electrocute on this boy right now, but he can struggle pretty hard, at, at least against another Pike I found. Um, if he isn't running resolve, but um, yeah, if you don't know too much about his abilities He's got his uh, passive which is he regens health when he's invisible to the enemy team He also doesn't get bonus health at all It is absolutely oh he grabbed me. It is absolutely all given through Oh, we got the electrocute down as well. It's given through um Leveling up, you don't get anything for it. It does convert to AD though, so I'd be interested to see what the conversion ratio is. Um, so it'll be a little bit weird. It does. It says it converts into attack damage, but I'm not sure what the conversion is. It could be worth building a war mugs at some point. For all I know, I have absolutely no idea. But uh, right now, until we get the numbers out of like surrender at 20 or just from the client or whatever, probably best not to build a war mugs <laughs> just yet. But um, yeah, as well as that, his E is a dash that uh, stuns after a duration if they get hit by it. And his ult is, of course, that uh, that execute that actually, I think it's about 200 HP. And it skews with your AD um, a little bit later down the line. It, I think it ignores armor and it ignores magic resistance, which is very strong if you are... Uh, if you get lucky, you know, if you if you're against a Ramus and you can somehow get him down to like the uh, the target HP, you're in for a wallop, and you're in, you're you're absolutely you're bound to smack them up, smack them up a little bit at least. I am going for this. I'm gonna back off here, and uh, we're gonna try. And... Nah, we're not gonna get it. Yeah, if you're up against a Ramus, this seems like the perfect support to like if you can get him low enough just to like clap him out ever so slightly. We ended up taking like a crazy amount of damage there actually. He used his uh. His W to um. Ooh. Oh, actually, yeah, we got the kill here. Boom! Oh no, we actually. Ah, oh, I should have followed up. You know what I should have done? I should have went for the uh, the grab on him. Another thing that I found, which is actually really really sick, uh, I, is it his Q. You can flash it. You can like, you can flash whilst you're channeling it, and it still like works perfectly. I'm actually gonna pop this. Just get some HP back. So yeah, like you can go into like you can. Start charging it, like like any normal like spell, and then I think we make. Oh, we actually got the stun down. Oh, we actually got first blood on me. No way, dude, that was sick. You can channel it, get ready to throw it, and then flash and hook, and it like it works pretty nicely. I managed to get a hook on it earlier, and uh, it was like pretty hype to be fair. Pike seems okay. He seems halfway decent. The squishiness is a little bit of an issue, but his W kind of makes up for it. And like getting a dub, getting a Q off in lane might be kind of hard. Although if you are camping these bushes, you can say goodbye to your health because Pike will grab you, and he is very likely to mess you up in that case. We're kind of closing down on level six here, which is like I think the part that everybody's looking forward to seeing. We're gonna have our uh, smite up fairly soon though as well. So we should have a good chance of like if we can just get to six quickly We should have a pretty decent chance of uh, getting a pick on to the other peg at least But yeah, the, the video I was gonna be making was about how you know I, I, I am actually not sure how overpowered Pike is really gonna be and I kind of stick by that after a game and a half of them so far of just like running him in 1v1s there's like definitely some issues with like if he gets like CC'd or if he gets like brought down 
uh, or if there's just like damage mitigation on the enemy team, he is going to struggle really, really heavily. But uh, I'm not going to ruin too much of that. I still want to make a video talking about it. Um, but yeah, like in terms of like thematic wise, like the way he looks, I am um, very into it. And even if like this is a failure, if Riot are like, nope, this is a terrible champion, I'm still 100% interested in playing him. I, I don't personally care if he's like a high tier champion, as long as he's fun to play, which so far, yeah, so far he's not too bad. Playing against him like with another pike. Playing against a pike whilst playing pike is a little bit um, kind of jarring because it's really hard to hit that E because, you know, the uh, the dash, every single time you drop the dash, you're, you're pretty much guaranteed to have, like, the uh, the enemy pike also do that dash. And so he's used his ultimate now, which is actually perfect for me. He's still chasing me down, though. But he doesn't have his ulti, so... There we go. We got the ulti down. We didn't, like, see it because it was, like, invisible. <laughs> he was in the bush, but, yeah, we got a pick there, which is fine. Um, didn't get the execute, though, unfortunately. What, what, like, so the AD ratio is about probably, like, yeah, about 45-ish percent, I suppose. Like, we, we can kill him immediately if he has 100, uh, 220 HP or 230 HP. And the scaling doesn't change as far as I can tell, but, I mean... It can get to some pretty disgusting levels, like, you can have them execute if they have less than, like, six, if they have 600, 700 HP, which, you know, when you think about it, is, like, at level 11, you could easily start yourself, like, a Darius level reset chain of just kill after kill after kill after kill, which would normally be terrible, but since you're, like, you're Pike, and you have that ability to, like, give the last person who got an assist full gold, uh, might not be the worst thing in the world. So if you're in a team fight, you get a triple kill. You could potentially be like gifting and like you know you could be double. You're doubling money. It's like it's RuneScape and you're just chilling in the grand exchange. That's like that's like actually disgusting, to be honest. That is intensely, uh, intense amounts of gold that you're giving out. Oh, he actually he had the ulti up. I completely forgot. I was like, all right, I'm gonna hang back. I'm gonna flash. But, no, we had the ulti up again. God damn. Alright, so, uh, let's pick this up as well. We're basically just going to be rushing the Dustblade of Drakthar. That's, like, the plan. With, like, the, uh, the Ghost Water Dive that we have, the, the, the stealth. Uh, it's de it seems like, you know, definitely what you want to be going for. In terms of, like, other items, I'd say it's just, like, it's just a Kali Thali character, right? You build on, like, you would build, like, anything, like, Talon, like, Zed, um... Pantheon builds very similar as far as I can tell. I mean, it's different orders, you know, you wouldn't go for a, a Dustblade of Drakthar first item on Pantheon. Potentially, you maybe pick up the uh, the Ghostblade if you want to get a little bit of, um, you know, chase potential or something like that. But certainly, you know, it's, it's just like your standard Wee Thali character. And I'm kind of impressed, like, I wasn't sure, like, it's kind of hard to, like, really feel the implementation, like, of this character. Because, like, right now, everybody's kind of, like, there's gonna be there, there we don't have enough information as and on how he stacks up in the role compared to other supports yet and it's gonna be it's not gonna be until like you know he actually comes out and maybe like a week or two after he comes out when we really get to see like how he's doing win rate wise but um he is if nothing else like halfway fun so i'll take that for what it is wait so he got dust he's got dust oh he didn't buy boots okay Okay, he's dead. Woo! We got him. Okay, I'm, I'm actually surprised I managed to win that considering I didn't have a dust blade. He didn't go for boots, but I'll take I'll take it, you know. I'll, I'll take what I can get. So yeah, I mean, it's this is all stuff that I want to talk about in tomorrow's video, by the way. So I don't want to spoil too much. I want to leave this just to, like, the gameplay, how he feels, how he operates, and it's... It's smooth. Like, the last couple of champions that Riot have done, I mean... Balance-wise, they've been a little bit questionable. Like, you know, going back, you've got Zoe, um, who was, you know, kind of overpowered on release. You've got Orn, who was the exact opposite on release and then became powerful, uh, like, overly powerful. Um, so it, it, it's hard to really 
gauge how bad this is gonna be. <laughs> but like, I don't know man, he's, he feels smooth to play, which is sick. His regening is insanity, although I'm glad that it's actually capped. Um, and that it's not just like an insane amount of like, an insane amount of regen that you can get just as long as you're invisible, similar to how, uh, you know, Garen plays or whatever. Uh, wait, okay, so like, we can buy this. I'm like, I feel like I should have a dust blade at this point, but I'm not gonna get it unless I sell a couple of other items. Do I want to do it? Just I know I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna head back to uh, head back to lane. I don't have a dust blade. Uh, I could have a dust blade if I didn't buy Dorans and I just went straight for longsword. But we're just gonna do this anyway. Um, I mean, still, you know, I I still killed him even despite that. I guess it's just something I have to bear in mind if I try and fight this this pike again. Just be careful of the dust blade. That's all you have to do, and I should be fine. Also, as long as I don't dash first, I should be okay. I think like dashing first in a pike versus pike matchup is kind of asking to get grabbed, so uh, I'm gonna try not cast it out first. There we go. He's running. Oh, we oh, okay. You know, I mm, I wasn't sure if that was gonna be close or not, but we got it. We're safe. We're alive. Things are fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm not worried, dude. Don't worry about it. Alright, nice. Okay. So, is there any items that give, like, flat? It's like ruby crystal or something. So, that gives 150 health. Is there anything that gives us, like, a little bit... A little bit more? Or, like, at least an even number, like, 100. Let's see. Uh, health. 60 health. 50. 80. 200 health. Okay, you know what? We can deal with 200 health. So, we get 14 HP from 200 health. So, you get 7 HP per 100 bonus uh, HP. Is that good or not? It's hard to tell. Maybe it's good. <laughs> I was expecting way more, to be honest. So, like, how much does a war- how much more a war mugs give you? A war mugs will give you, like, sometimes 8, like, 40 health? Uh, 40 AD? Is that worth the other stats you get? Is it worth building HP items to get other benefits and also get AD? It's hard to say. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Like, 7 per seven per 100 is doesn't seem like all that much. I guess, like, I'm, I don't know what the hell I was expecting. I, I don't know if I was expecting, like, oh, yeah, like, 50% AP rate, 50% AD ratio. And have people build just, like, 6 warmogs and have, like, 4 bajillion AD, but... I don't know. I was expecting, like, a little bit more. But still, I'm not the game the, the game balance team. Not my job. Not paid enough for this. Oh wait, what? Oh, pop the flash there at least. Boom, there we go. We got the execute there as well. So you know, I gotta say like it doesn't really happen with other characters as far as I can tell, but I do appreciate it. So like if you look down here. At the bottom of the screen, there's like, uh, if I if I actually level this up, there's like a little duration bar that you get for being in that form, and also the reset thing around the uh, the ulti when you get a kill on reset, like it's it like ticks it down, little UI changes like that. So like as I say, like this little bar that goes down to show you how long you got stealth for, nice little touches that never like were in the game before, as far as I can tell. All right, we're gonna have one more fight. And then we'll see who wins, who's the true the true victor of this game. Who's the best, the super best pike player. You know, we'll see. It'll be interesting. <laughs> Alright, my Ollie's almost up, 10 seconds off cooldown. We're going in for the final battle here. And, um, yeah, I mean, I think I, like, in terms of items, I went for the tabby. I've gone for, like, the, the real, like, safe build. I've gone for resolve, I've gone for the tabby. And uh, I'm thinking my chances are good. I'm also two levels ahead, actually. Uh, I didn't realize my uh, my CS isn't even like two levels worth ahead. I don't know. Maybe it's just like I was in lane a little bit longer or something. I just happened to soak up like the right amount of XP. I feel like I shouldn't be two levels ahead. Okay, this is feeling like a little bit more one-sided. I kind of want to let him get like a level or something just to make this like less like of a stomp. Okay, I'm missing missing that. It's good stuff. 
I'm glad. Okay, taking a bit of damage. See, I don't want to like make it too easy for him, man. Like, <laughs> if I'm just here like intentionally letting him level up and take damage, and he actually beats me, that's gonna be bad. So I shouldn't do that. I should get in the zone, ready to crush him. Imagine it's a rank game. Okay, imagine it's a rank game. Even if he DCs, man, I'm just oh, he's, he just goes AFK, and I'm just like oh, this it's rank game. I gotta do this. I'm sorry. Oh, he actually, you know what? I, I played that. I played that pretty poorly. You know, I'm gonna back off here at least. You know, if I can get into this bush, I can probably get some regen down. That is some fat regen. Fat regen right there. We can go in for the uh, dust blade. Okay, we both did the exact same thing. Like, almost exactly the same. Alright, he's he's uh, he's execute level. Boom! There we go. Execute does 600 HP. If you have 600 HP, it will kill you immediately. 600 HP execute. That is pretty disgusting. Like, if you have one third HP, I can kill you. Like, you know, 1800, 1800 health at my level. If I get you into one third HP, you're dead. And I get a reset off it as well. And it's, it's, it's not even like a small reset. It's like I get a full 20 seconds to actually like do this with. It's disgusting, dude. I mean, like, I'm, I'm not saying it's like totally busted, but like, you know, there's some... Cat Arena levels of outplay, you know, snowballing potential here that I'm not a big fan of. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not looking forward to seeing in games. But yeah, guys, I've got another video about Pike coming out tomorrow, just talking about the, uh, the implications of the character, and you know what we're potentially be seeing from this, whether or not he is in fact overpowered, or if he's just kind of a, a little bit gimmicky, I suppose. Let's dodge that. Oh my goodness, did he really do that? Oh, jeez. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll speak to you guys tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm back from Ireland, all that kind of stuff. And um, thank you for choosing this video over the immense amount of other ones that are coming out. I really appreciate you. You guys are the OGs. And uh, I hope this has been at least a little bit of like a, you know, it's been a little bit interesting for you to watch. Uh, you know, this is, I'm not a pro player. This is coming at you from like an average player's perspective, like what what I think this character is like, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth tomorrow. But until then, guys, I'll see you later. Have a fantastic day, night, evening, whatever you're doing. 